Thank you everyone for joining us today for this press event. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you. Uh, before the announcement, what I would like to do is give you a brief introduction about LifeCell. LifeCell is a company that got incorporated in 2004 as the country's first private cord blood bank. This was in technical collaboration with CryoCell, which is the world's first cord blood bank based in the US. And we've started the quality standards, you know, very high right from the start. You know, so we were the first bank in Asia to be accredited by the American Association of Blood Banks. We have patients who've taken their blood samples and got uh, stem cell transplants done, not just in India, but also in US, Singapore, and many other countries. And our samples have been accepted for use there. We have uh, been able to raise capital at various stages, you know, so that we could increase the awareness of these services, make them more affordable. Uh, two rounds of investment, first with Helion Ventures way back in 2014, and then just about a year and a half back by Orbimed Ventures, you know, about 225 crores was raised to support the growth agenda. We work uh, beyond just the storage of stem cells. We also preserve the placental tissue, convert them into natural wound bandages. And more than a million placental tissues are uh, distributed all over the world. You know, we are the only provider of that uh, tissue in India. We also uh, are dealing with genomic services. We uh, screen the maximum number of pregnancies and uh, newborns in the country for uh, inherited genetic disorders. Uh, today, we are expanding our portfolio of services. And you know, what is different here is that not only these services, uh, uh, while these services are being available already you know, by most routine labs, what is different today is that for the first time in the country, this is going to be possible to do it right in the privacy of one's home. Right? One doesn't need to come into contact with anyone. You know, one doesn't have to walk into a clinic. One doesn't have to have a flebo come home and, and do a collection. You order the kits virtually. Uh, you receive the kit box through courier, very discreet packaging, you know, so that the uh, uh, privacy is continue to be maintained. Uh, you collect the sample at your convenient time, right? It doesn't have to be done in immediate collection. Sometimes you need to do at a specific time, like on a hormone test you need to do on the day two or day three of the cycle. The uh, kits are picked back uh, by our return courier system. They reach our central processing lab in Chennai, which is a, a premier facility, you know, which is about 70,000 plus square feet. We do wide range of tests, about 3,500 different kinds of tests. Every day we process, you know, thousands of samples out there. We are a registered uh, now sperm bank also. Um, and, and what is important with all of these tests, why are we doing it, right? It is because some of these uh, tests are, you know, uh, associated with uh, a lot of personal concerns, right? People find it as a stigma to talk about sexually transmitted diseases, you know, talk about even menopause, you know, a lot of women uh, don't even discuss with their families and near dear ones because they think you know pe people around them won't understand them. You know, so delays in testing you know causes a lot of concerns. You know not only it increases the cost of doing treatment later on. You know it makes it more complex. You know do it at the right time. It's simpler, cheaper. More importantly, you know you also save lives. Right? Something like an HPV cancer screening done at the right time, you know can actually prevent uh, the 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 progression of cancer. So. Uh, we're addressing concerns from uh, not just women's health, we're talking about, you know, men's health, fertility, you know, a couple at home, you know, doesn't have to deal with the stress of knowing what's the cause of infertility. And I mean, a lot of them go to self-medication, a lot of them, you know, delay the time that it takes to get to the clinics to get the right answers. And we hope that we can solve for those problems, you know, provide the right answers in a timely manner, in a private and convenient, confidential manner. <clears throat> Right, and uh, uh, these tests are being done in our labs, which are you know already servicing uh, clinicians across the country. You know, we have more than uh, 200 plus cities where we do the collections of these samples from. Uh, we have more than uh, 4,000 plus clinicians who refer these samples to us. So the same labs where we do these routine testings is where they're also being repurposed to also do these self-collection testing also, and. Uh, what we do is, you know, once the samples are collected, we also provide the complete comprehensive service. Not only do we test these samples, we can also, like sperm, we can even freeze them down for future use. Today, someone who is not ready to start a family, but 
concerned about future fertility, we can solve for that also by having them frozen for at least 10 plus years. Uh, we also provide them consultation with a, a network of virtual doctors and physical clinics also where we can refer to them for the treatments also. And um, what we've done is with this integrated approach, hopefully, you know, provided, you know, the ability to do proactive health management, right? So that the uh, health is addressed comprehensively, timely, cost effectively also. And uh, while my colleagues now will share the list of services uh, that are being available in detail, I'll very briefly touch upon the, the list of services that we have. Right, so sperm score, which is uh, the uh, uh, semen analysis test that we have, sperm vault, which is the freezing of these sperms for up to 10 years of time. We have OVA score, which is the hormone uh, test for women. There are about at least 11 plus hormones are tested for. Uh, infer genes, those who have primary infertility. Right? We do a genetic test with at least about 30 to 40 genes which are well established to be the root cause of infertility. At least about 25% of these uh, infertility causes could be because of an inherited genetic condition. So we help provide that diagnosis also. Uh, we have the menopause test also, you know, perimenopause. So one can predict, you know, how long will it take to get to menopause, right? So it tells you, are you within the menopause period within five years or not, right? It's an FDA approved test that we have. HPV for cervical cancer screening, uh, a swab uh, uh, test that is done right in uh, the convenience one's home. Uh, sexual health conditions which are chlamydia, gonorrhea, you know, one of the highest causes of uh, 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 infections in women and many other associated conditions that they deal with. Uh, we have the sexually transmitted conditions also, H HIV and many other conditions that we screen for. Uh, omega score, this is something where the breast milk is screened for, you know, the, for the content of DHA, where the children are exclusively breastfed. You want to be sure that the quality of the breast milk is also appropriate. So we provide that test. Genes pass, this is for something, not only you want to have a baby, but a healthy baby. So we screen for 2000 plus uh, genes, which could be uh, causing an inherited condition, the baby right within the first two years of birth, right? So proactively one screens for it, so one can take the right medical advice at the right time. Um, we also have uh, many more launches lined up. Some of the interesting ones are the egg freezing, where, you know, post the screening of hormones, everything looks good. You know, women have a little bit more challenging where they have to walk into an IVF clinic, but we provide that network of clinics where we help engage, provide the, the uh, hand-holding, you know, so the uh, collection of the eggs are done, frozen down, and then maintained at our labs for long-term preservation. Um, we also have these uh, pharmacological uh, genomic tests, you know, where one can have personalized medicine recommendations also being done. This is for someone who has medications for a lifetime, like in the case of diabetes, cardiovascular, and many other conditions. You want to be sure that the medicine works for you rather than go through a trial and error process. So with the power of genomics, this is possible to tailor me make the medicine recommendations. Uh, women's cancer tests, you know, not only HPV, cervical cancer, but now you can even screen for breast cancer and ovarian cancer, the most common cancers in women. So even those can be done with the convenience of one's home. Uh, 